So let me just read these to you as I wrote it. The intro sets them up as successful salespeople, but it's revealed the company is shutting down. Then it shows Billy's wife is leaving him because he kept his job loss a secret. She found out from a foreclosure notice placed on his front door. Nick's wife got him a job with her brother. Her brother is played by Will Farrell, playing a guy named Kevin. This is he only shows up in the movie for two minutes, and during these two minutes, Will Farrell is not acting up to his full potential. It's a minor part for a major actor, and I didn't think that was good. The Google interview is hilarious. And odd. Very odd. But directly after, after that, things once more make sense. So far so good for this movie, as the internship, in title and content, starts. If you don't understand that, that means they start the internship. It's clear, though, that they are going to have issues. And by they, I don't only mean the characters of the movie, I mean whoever the people creating the movies are. First of all, though, let's talk about the acting. Obviously, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson did a great job with, as I said, Will Ferrell not performing spectacularly in the two minutes he showed up in this movie. Now, as for this actor, Asif Mandvi, I'm sorry I'm not, if I'm not saying that right, he plays someone named Mr. Chetty, the person who leads every uh, who leads all the interns in the internship program, and he does a good job as well. Good acting. On the second day, teams are chosen, and they get put on a team with someone named Lyle, an employee that had been there and had helped them get in to the internship program because when he looked at the interview he said he said in the movie we always need different types of people and that's what ultimately got him in his vote maybe not I'll explain later in the spoiler section but anyway they both that join Lyle's team as long as well as two other people one of them is Yo-Yo, is his name. In the first challenge, they're clueless. As a programmer myself, well, I couldn't see what they were doing with because the boards were backwards, but I would probably understand it. And when they would say something, I would be like, that's not right. <laughs> There's a Quidditch match for the second challenge, minus the flying, of course. It's funny at first, then this movie finally gets serious. Well, plot-wise, anyway. Oh, and they do end up losing the Quidditch match, by the way. The Snitch is a man in golden spandex who has a tennis ball. And if you get that, you win. In the first half, the other team goes up by 70 in the second half. That's how they did it. Well, Billy and Nick and Lyle, Lyle and Yo-Yo and Neha is her name go up by 70 as well, as in 70-70. And of course, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know the deal. Catch the snitch. It's 150 points. You practically win the game. And that's exactly what happens. But who catches it? The other team. So that's why they lose the second challenge. I know, what kind of challenge is that for Google? Well, it's Google. They can do what they want. So what's the deal with this Nick love relation? Well, Rose Byrne is doing a great job acting, playing a girl who works at Google called Dana. And Nick is falling madly in love with her. But we're going to have to see. Now, 
as I, uh, I already said that, let's see. Things get real in a meeting where they mention how a quarter of the kids coming out of college can't get a job. And when I say things get real, I mean real life. Because that was me for six months after I came out of college. I remember that half year where I just sat at home doing job searching. Luckily, I'm in a job now. But I know how they. I know how it feels for those other three quarters of kids who aren't going to get a job. Now I feel like I'm starting to relate to this movie, and I was already relating to it for the code for the coding part. There, the party that the, there is a party, and it has a couple of good moments, and I'm sure this is where our plot will start developing. Just a couple more things quickly. Uh, as far as the story goes, uh, the story was actually very good. It, it does continue to develop very good. The comedy took a while to arrive, and so did the development, but here we go. Into the spoilers. Anyway, the plot progresses with the team winning Two challenges in the duo learning HTML5 and CSS3. If you don't know what that is, don't worry. I myself am still trying to master it. I know HTML and CSS, but there are new versions apparently. Learned that a couple of years ago. The duo's old boss calls and offers them a new position and they turn it down. And there's no more after that from the old boss. So I thought that was actually a very wise thing to do. Bill, in, a, in the steam room, versus one of the rivals that they have throughout this movie. I didn't mention that in the non-spoiler section, because I wanted that to be a kind of surprise. The person he's like facing off against, so to speak, is named Stuart, and he's played by Dylan O'Brien. name I've never heard of, but... Probably will, again, because he actually does really good acting in this movie. So, there's two challenges to go. In the steam room, Stuart says he looked up Bill's old profile and found out about his old job as a salesperson and everything and says he's not even going to try to, to destroy Bill because Bill's going to destroy himself. Well, in the next challenge... That's exactly what he does. Bill forgets to hit the record button when they are doing call, the call-in test, which means it's as, while everyone else has recorded their conversations, as he, and he hasn't recorded any. So it's as if he hasn't done any because the boss cannot look at them, and thusly they lose that challenge as well. Right before that, though, there is a moment where we reveal that Nick is indeed going out with Dana, and they are having a great relationship. Not No issues here, and I thought that was kind of surprising. They started that off really quick, and I thought it was really good. Now, back to that other challenge. Stuart is smiling at the end of it, so I thought maybe it was sabotage. But then I thought, but as I was on my way home, I was thinking, you know, I don't think it was, because the movie would have surely touched on it if it was. So, Billy leaves, but the last challenge is revealed to be sales, and the team needs him. Team Lyle, as it is called. So, of course he comes back after Nick talks to him. The sale goes well with Nick and Billy. Then, at the end in ceremony, we see just how well. It's, it is it is so fun. Mr. Chetty is getting ready to announce the winners of the internship program who will get full-time jobs at Google, and he will... And he's like, oh, too bad. Someone didn't turn in their sales. You got to be here to win. And throughout this movie, it seems like Mr. Chetty 
has something against Team Lyle. Just then, everything is interrupted. And there's like a big... The whole place turns into some giant party as they come walking in with some pizza joint that you saw like five minutes earlier get... and who bought advertising with Google. And it's going to be huge because... They want to, like, open chains and everything, and, well, not maybe not chain, but they want to open a couple more restaurants, they want to advertise it all, and, they, of course, their sales beat Stewart's, so they end up winning. Then we find out something. Let me tell you about someone I didn't mention earlier, the headphone guy. There's a guy who appears two, uh, two other times in the movie, and once here. One time he doesn't speak. The other time, it's when Bill is trying to figure out how to how to fit in at Google. He's try learning a little HTML5. He's learning about the call center challenge that he's going to have to do. And then it's revealed he's actually the one who makes the final decision on who gets in to who gets the jobs and he actually had a the second second time he shows up he has an amazing talk with bill so of course he's all for it and then it's also revealed that mr chetty was the decided vote on the committee to let them join the internship program that was something i did not see some coming a giant twist and then that's it it's not a fabulous movie, but I, I liked it. A six or under is a dislike, so a seven or above is a like. I'm going to give this a seven. So I liked it. When I'll buy, probably not. But when I'd see again, yeah, maybe.